So this is where he, he grew up, and we sort of wanted to find a place that will make the audience realize, you know, he's, he's come from a pretty well-off family. He's got money. We were looking for a place that had sort of a masculine architecture, something to hold up to someone as wonderful as Jessica Lange. I mean, there's a, there's a power in her on the screen. So we're introduced to her at, at this mansion. I'll never beat you, Mr. Dexter. But if you ever give me a point again, I'll fire you. The moment I had this script, I kind of knew who I wanted. So uh, I, uh, I chased her down. You're not narcissistic enough to put on a show, nor are you an adolescent. And I don't think we have to say that you're far from being stupid. She's an ascendant in the sense of everything that Jim's not, which is why their relationship is so polar. It's why she doesn't understand him. She's like, how could you possibly want to basically throw all of this money away? And, and it's why, as a location, we chose what actually is, in fact, the Playboy Mansion, because the architecture of that place is so heavy. It sort of looks like a Scottish kind of castle. And the gray stone, I sort of saw it in a way as this sort of this weight around her neck, like she'd spent her whole life struggling to find herself in this bucolic billionaire's existence, but actually it's a prison. You're just spinning a cylinder in a revolver, and you're doing it on purpose. I'm not giving you any more. Mark's a wonderful actor. I mean, I've always loved his work and it's partly the reason I did this because I wanted to work with him and like I said the script I found intriguing 